I'm Taylor Odette. And I'm Jonathan Bennett. And this is not an interview. It's not. <sighs> all right, thank God we got that out of the way. Woo! You host all the time, I'm hosting all the time. It's like, I know. we just gotta eat. Sometimes Let's, you just gotta eat. Make time to eat. We gotta eat. Let's eat. Just, just live you our have, life. Let's just live our life. And you've got the burn cookbook we out, which is great. We have the burn cookbook out. We're making my favorite recipe, and actually the recipe that inspired the entire burn cookbook yes. was the guacamole. Okay. I made, which is, it's not regular guac. It's, it's cool, cool guac. guac. So this is how we're gonna make it, all right? All right. Let's it's see. super fun, super easy. All right, First of all, it. you're gonna wanna take uh, this apple and cut it up. You're gonna do the work, I'm gonna direct. Okay. That's how this is gonna work. So far Sounds you're nailing great. it. Little pieces. Have you cut an apple before? Um, is this your first time? Mm, this is, it's, it's okay. not my it's first. Okay. It, 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 well, one it might first. be the last. Wait, what kind of slices mean, do you want? You didn't not, specify. Okay, we want it little. Like we're little. making guacamole, so we want to do it like small. Okay. We got this. Hold on, she's getting there, guys. It's gonna be great. So, what's your favorite part of Mean Girls? Am I frustrating you? No, like the way I cut no, my apple? You're doing great. There's no right way to cut an apple. No, there's no wrong there's way. There's no wrong way. There's no right way. My favorite part of Mean Girls. Besides me, obviously. Obviously. But, um, um, right. Damien. Oh, isn't he fun? Mean Girls is the gift that really keeps on giving. Yep. That, Just like my apple slicing. Yep. Goes. You're, mm -hmm, that. Do you need sous chef? I got Do you I got want to you. talk about anything from your childhood or we're, we're good? <laughs> okay, fantastic. I got the apples. We're going to take it and we're going to, we need like a little bowl. A little what bowl. You can wear them as a hat. You can do it. Ah, some type of show. It'll be great. Here we go. First of all, you take, you take your apples, you cut them up. You put them Put the in, knife down. Put the knife down. Put the knife down. Knife down. Knife down. Okay. Apples go in a bowl. Then you're going to take your lime. Cut your lime. You never know which way you're supposed to cut it this way. This Doesn't way or this matter. way? Out! Oh, just kidding. Go on. Do you ever run out of energy? Never. Let's go. Like Come on. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Let's go. Great. Now take it and squeeze it on the apples. Jonathan, why am I squeezing lime on an apple? Well, I'll tell you, Taylor. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Because otherwise it will brown. And when your apple's brown, no one wants to eat it. No one wants a brown apple. No one go. wants brown guac either. No one so. wants brown guac, Fair. I know. But Done. you know what? Our guac is extra and so are Done. we, guys. So are we. Okay, so we take that and then you do a very fun like food thing where you set it aside. Like that. Done. Love My it. hands are right, lime cool. all over that. That's okay, that's the fun of cooking. Just don't rub your eyes. Go ahead and take your avocados. <sighs> okay. While you do that, I'm step gonna play, by step. okay, what's so fun about the Burn Cookbook is, what is not it? only are there amazing recipes, yes. but there are fun games to play with your friends, like us, I love games. while you're preparing the food. We're gonna play our pop quiz. What we're doing is, which plastic are you? Describe your ideal date. A fancy restaurant where I can eat my salad in a setting worthy of me. B, a trip to the zoo. D, doing something fun like playing football. E, dinner with a scary movie. Or F, group date at the art museum. Oh God, not that one. The uh, zoo. The zoo. The zoo. The zoo. The zoo. The zoo. The zoo. That's a B. Yeah. What is your favorite home cooked meal? A, my mom's cob salad. B, pasta shared with my mom and dad. C, whatever our chefs cook. D, Taco Bell. E, taco that my nana makes if she's not too drunk. Or F, Chinese food from the mall court. Whatever our chef cooks. C. All right. Clearly whatever our chef cooks. What I'm not is taught your, to cook. Um, I don't what know do you do eat this. for breakfast? A, Special K. B, berries and granola. C, whatever Gina's, Regina's having. D, I always forget to eat breakfast. E, toaster strudels. Or F, I don't have time for that. Cat. Yeah, Calteen bars, whatever Regina's having. C, all right. So that means you're mostly C's, which means you are a Gretchen Wiener. I'll take it, I'll take it. Do you know the trick to take this out? You go like this. Yeah, I just did it on like three of them. Okay, then you just go like this, because you're gonna mash it up anyway. <laughs> okay, great. See? Next, yep. we're gonna cut up this onion. Go for it. I'll cut the onion. You know, let That's me a good idea. Onion. Why don't you do the onion? What? Well, <laughs> I was gonna... <laughs> Sorry. It's the onions. Well. So when you cut onions, the thing you want to remember is have one of your friends do it so your hands Sorry. don't smell like onions for the rest of the day. Mm. Or you can just be a pro like me and take one for the team because Taylor's so pretty and amazing. So then what we're gonna do, onions go in the avocados. Yeah, they do. Go ahead and mash them up. Okay. Yep. Then you're gonna wanna put salt and pepper in there while you're doing it. Just a little bit. Just whatever little, it meets little, little the salt eye. And pepper. It says tablespoons and teaspoons, but it doesn't really matter. You just do whatever you think tastes good. Isn't there like a rule? Like you throw it over your shoulder or something? Oh, if what is the thing? It, the people do? You spill the salt, you throw it over your shoulder, right? I don't, 
That might be your rule. You're supposed to just throw some of the salt. Where'd it go? Got it. Okay, here we go. Mash it all up. Yeah, okay. it's good. It looks good, right? Yes, no, maybe. Let's taste it. Good. Okay, add your apples. Yes. Yep. Yep. Why apples? Um, Because it's not regular guac, it's school guac. And it, it just really, it's fun to add the fruit to it because okay. it makes a whole another texture. And then you're going to add your fruit. pomegranate seeds. Yes. Okay. Is this to make it pretty or is this to taste um, good too? No, it's really good because the, the pomegranate seeds burst in your mouth at just the right time. One more time? I didn't catch it burst the first time, mouth. sorry. Oh. Have, you not, have you ever seen Overboard? Uh, with Anna Ferris? Yeah. No, not yet. Oh, if that's how old I am. No, it's not. I, it just came out. Well, let me taste it first. All right, what does it taste like? Oh wow, you went for it. Big, big bite. More of these. So it's all the taste for you. you yeah, just... you just mix it up. Like, just do whatever you think is good. All right. It needs a little bit more salt and pepper. The salt's over mm -hmm. there, probably somewhere. Got it. <laughs> Am I forgetting anything? Oh, lime. Okay, then. More lime? We've it, done yeah, so much yeah. lime. Okay. No, you want a little more lime. Do you cook at home? Yes, every day. That's how I made the burn cookbook. What's so <laughs> fun about the burn cookbook? Is that you don't this have to be? This is an interview. You don't have to get You don't the have plugs. to be a professional <laughs> chef to do it. Okay. You can just get together with your friends. You can just be and cook. Pretty basic. Yeah, chef pretty is basic. Good. We have these things in the book called fetch facts. So one of the fun parts about the fetch facts that are in the book. Yes. Are there behind the scenes facts that no one would know unless you were on set like I was? For example, yeah. like remember how it says uh, Regina's hair is insured for ten thousand dollars? Yes. That's actually true because the actress that played her, Rachel yeah. McAdams. Yeah wore a wig the whole time, but the director was really specific in wanting to make sure that that wig looked real. So they purchased a wig for $10,000 and wig? had one made to fit her head from a wig maker in Ontario, Canada. So the wig actually cost 10 grand and it was insured. So one of the fun things about the book is you get all these behind the scenes things where you wouldn't realize that that actually is true. Her hair is insured for $10,000. $10,000? $10,000. And everyone thought it was all about your right? hair looking sexy I know. fish and Really, no, it was hers. It was all hers right, then you the put it time. in this bowl like this. Yes. Yep, yeah, fantastic. What line do you get the most? I'm curious. Uh, your hair looks sexy, push back. Would you be okay if you never heard that again? No. You like I it. I love it. Okay, That's good. what I love. For all the Mean Girls fans out there, just want to say like, I love you and I appreciate you and we are so grateful to all the Mean Girls fans and for you guys continuing to make Fetch happen. Are you ready? Yeah, here. Just, <laughs> just, I don't, oh, there we go. Well, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. You okay, got ready? Yep. Cheers. Cheers. They're good. You no, like they're it? really good. Sure. I thought it was honestly gonna be okay. So you agree? <laughs> you think it's really good? So you think you're like really pretty? I think it needs a little pepper, actually. Mm -hmm. little I didn't want to say anything, but you're right. Little pepper. It needs a little salt and pepper. You're right. It didn't need more salt. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I. <laughs> thanks for like not having an interview. Well, oh, thanks for not interviewing me. Yeah, no, yeah. Anytime. All right. So more of <laughs> the burn cookbook. Do I get this one? Yep. This is your copy. Oh my god. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm gonna give this to everyone. I'm usually a bad gift giver. Now you're gonna turn Now you have the gift best giver. gift. That's the best part about the yeah. Burton Cookbook is that it's such a great holiday gift. All right, well, thanks for stopping by. Thank you. Yeah, uh, you're welcome. All I'm right, so bye, glad guys. you're here. All right, bye. We'll see you later.